So hello again, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, uh, I want to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to be going into 100% how I feel about President Trump and about the whole situation behind it and uh, what the Lord has brought me to truly see in these end times. You guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you the good, the bad, and the, ug the ugly flat out, 100% real. Um, I really want to go in and show you guys this has been a journey. This is not an overnight, like, understanding, okay? But just to get started, um, I feel like I have to apologize. I do wish that I could be as organized as possible, <laughs> but um, I'm homeschooling a first grader, I've got a toddler, so I tried to jot down from the beginning all my thoughts and try to organize it to the best of my ability but uh, i'm gonna be thinking out loud a little bit stay tuned so good the bad and the ugly okay Un an entirely like unbiased position okay so my initial thoughts um from the start from the rip of america having donald trump as a president Honest to God, I felt that we were doomed and I felt like we were a joke as like a unit. My initial thoughts about Trump, I grew up watching him. My mother is from Jamaica, Queen, um, Jamaica Queens as well. So she was always in love with him. Um, New Yorkers are very shout out, very obnoxious. Um, so my initial thoughts of Trump were prideful, arrogant, childish, opposed to well-spoken, politically correct, both in speech and in temperament. As I came to the prophecy realm of understanding, which was not something that I chose to do, or wanted to do rather, I was naturally drawn to it because of all that was going on in the world, um, but the Lord brought me to a miracle of understanding like wow so basically I started listening to Christians and what they had to say regarding Trump and I, I could not accept it okay I knew they were dreaming about him I knew there were prophecies put out about him but it I needed for the Lord to personally show me why or how or if this is even true at all. Definitely not a, a naive person, okay? Um, so the Lord showed me that our perception of him, of God, is carnal, okay? Now I wanna go on a small tangent in regards to what it is to be a carnal thinker. So one thing that, um, the best story that I can go by in thinking carnally or thinking in a way even a karm a karma way right is that if you do something good then good things happen to you and if you do something bad bad things happen to you which is correct but there's more to it okay not everything is 100% black and white trust me there's a point to this okay so let's look at the um the book of Job right so Job was righteous he did nothing wrong i've heard some people try to accuse him some people say that he he thought bad in his heart no god said that job was righteous and god volunteered job to satan okay so the reasoning for all of this was not only to paint a very vivid picture for Christians everywhere, but to also show that God is not carnal. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, Job had an outburst and he would not curse, well, he wouldn't curse God, right? Everyone told him just curse God and everyone accused him and said, you must have done something wrong that God is attacking you, okay? You must have done something. And Job kept saying, I didn't do anything. Even God said he didn't do anything. So basically, 
He did snap, and he basically called God a big bully. Are you just a big bully? What's your problem? And I'm, I'm obviously um, saying it in my words, but God appreciated that he asked him that question so that he can explain it to him. And of course, God has a way better explaining process than our average minds could muster up, right? So he basically gives an illustration to Job of how powerful he is and how tiny Job is, okay? Basically, he says, can you arrange the stars? Did you name all of them? Do you call them one by one? Basically, he showed Job that he sees everything and controls everything in the universe. So did he really not know what was going on with Job? Was there really no purpose to it? So he does restore everything to Job. So the moral point is, God is trying to illustrate to us that he was trying to strengthen Job. He was trying to get him out of his carnal religious traditions and his ways of thinking, okay? Not because it's dangerous to him, but because it's dangerous to the nations, okay? Sitting comfortable will get you nowhere. So every strong person has been broken in their life. So this is what a carnal way of thinking is. So why do I say this? because this can be applied to anything, okay? There's a lot of people that ask silly questions about God. Like, if God is such a good God, then why does he let all these things happen? Which, if anyone has any questions about that, I can answer that, no problem. But, there's a reason for everything that the Lord does, okay? So, basically, they're trying to measure Trump by if he's good or bad, which is stupid. Because everyone can be good and everyone can be bad. Even if you're a Christian, you sin, okay? It's inevitable. That's why Jesus needed to take it to the cross, okay? So you see a lot of lashing out of things that he's said, things that he's done, and all these things. And I was disgusted by these things as well, okay? Now, the Lord had me see David. And David, I have to admit, um, very interesting character, especially with the simple fact that the Lord said that David, which this was never said about anyone else biblically, had a heart after himself, after God. So why is this important? Because David was a sinner. Saul was a sinner. Every single person on this earth is a sinner in need of a savior. Okay? So why am I going on to this rant? There's a reason for it. So I basically wanted to go into the fact that no king, no politician, no person will ever be perfect. But how can you tell? How can you tell what this man is about? That's easy. The Lord says that by the fruit of his spirit, you will know what's going on with that person, okay? So when Trump, Trump has completely and utterly been a man of his word thus far. And as Christians, it is our duty to be pro-life. Okay, that's not, that's not an option. It's not a question mark. If, and we have two opposing. I'm gonna call him JB, his, op his opposition, for the sake of the simple fact that they're taking down videos that say his name, okay? And all his scandalous things that he's been up to. But JB is not pro-life and Trump is. And if you vote or if you choose not to vote, or if you choose not to do the right thing in this scenario, then if JB gets selected as president, then those babies' bloods are on your hands, okay? 
it's it's our job as Christians to stand against these things and we're not all leaders so our job is to vote okay second he's big on religious freedom Trump is okay what did JB say that he is all about science okay that's a problem that's absolutely a problem so with Trump he has made it very known that he's gonna fight for religious freedom he's made it very clear and he's dealing with a lot of uh, crazy people down his neck regarding uh, religion so if the Lord upstairs in heaven gives us uh, freedom of anything, for just freedom in general, of will, then who the heck is a human being or a man to tell us if we have freedom or not, okay? We need freedom. We need freedom of religion. And Trump is the one that's going to ensure that because he is the Lord's servant and this was revealed to me, okay? But I'll go back to the original story on my journey. Um, when I first heard the Christian saying these things and I asked the Lord to show me himself, um, he started showing me different things like, you know, what I just said, don't have a carnal mind. Um, and basically he showed me the whole relationship between Saul and, and David and how David would not touch Saul because he was anointed by God, okay? So, the next thing I wanted to bring up was I, I began to see who was opposing Trump, like hardcore opposing him. And to sum it up, anti-authoritarian types, okay? Those were the ones who were opposing Trump. Um, they could put whatever label behind the movement that they want to. But if they are threatening a president, if they are anti-authority in any way, that is a devilish system, okay? You have even the Satanists, the Luciferians, the same thing. They want him out of office. There were people, there were witches casting spells on him when they found out that he got COVID, trying to kill him. So, uh, and then I heard some stories about some witches gathering twice. Um, this, Satan's kingdom doesn't want this to happen, okay? So, whether the things that he's doing are 100% good or 100% bad, in every spectrum, in every angle, he's doing the Lord's will. That's it, okay? Now, last but not least, I wanted to bring up uh, one last thing that has to do with carnal thinking, right? I truly believe, and I really do believe that the Lord has shown me this, that these different personality types that we were born with um, and even certain different mentalities that um, have been created over time just due to what we've seen and experienced, all these different ways of thinking, these things were ushered in by the Lord, okay? They're meant to be used um, by the creation. These are gifts that were given to us. Um, the reason why I say this is because, you know, growing up, I was not a quiet girl. I'm not a quiet woman. And when I got into speaking out about the Lord, I got a lot of attacks stating that I'm just a woman, women can't be heads of churches, and blah, 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 blah. I'm not trying to be the head of anything, okay? I just want to show people things that the Lord has shown me. I just want to clear up some um, things and, and divide rightfully the scriptures where people are failing to do that. I don't claim to be anything, but the Lord showed me that I made you for this purpose. 
to show people in the way that you think, you know, because you reach different types of people. You know what I mean? Um, some, you know, it draws people close to different types of people when you've been through the same experiences. You know what I mean? So, like, for example, um, I've seen people that, men, that have come out about being raped. And all these men will flock to him and be like, that happened to me too. That happened to me too. And that brings in a reality, like a, a realness, truth, and all these things. They're, they're absolutely ushered in by God. So, in essence, Trump was created to do this. Okay, um, why so? Well, just those same exact things that I mentioned in the beginning. He's prideful, he's arrogant, he's um, stuck in his own ways, no one can change his mind, he doesn't go back on these things, like, he has no shame, okay? God is gonna use that to his advantage. Um, Trump is not a politician, and perhaps that's what gives him a better edge, especially right now. Now, I want to talk about something economically real quick. I want to make this brief, and I don't want to talk too much on politics. But economically, Trump did a fantastic job stabilizing our government and our economic crisis with all the craziness that Satan has tried to throw at him, okay? So, you know, he changed our country from um, an, an import an importer to an exporter um, country. He, uh, and I'm briefly going over these things, so don't quote me verbatim. Read, read it on your own, do your own research. But um, he's also, if this is a race thing, um, I have news. Trump has done more than any other president in history for the minority community, okay? Hands down. I had to look at this myself. But it's true, okay? Um, we're talking about inner city, disturbances. Um, he's given to a black community college. He's donated plenty of money. He's donated so many checks that have been given to him to benefit our country and the people who can't afford these things. He's created jobs even during all the crisis times, especially for the minority group. And he's been working in the um, jails to literally rehabilitate people instead of having them go and commit more crimes and be crazy and come out even crazier or stay life in prison, okay? So these are just um, little tidbits of just a brief four years, and not to mention peace with Israel, okay? Now, we know that that can go either way. I've done a video on it. I got a bad vibe from that. Um, and, and I really feel like the Lord spoke to me regarding this, but regardless, the Lord is doing his will through that man. So um, pray about it. Don't just take my word, don't be naive, but Get ready, get ready to vote, get ready to do righteous things in the kingdom of God because that's step one right now. Um, also step one, pray for our leaders, pray for our president, for safety and protection, and for the Lord to continue to do his will in America. God bless. I do wanna mention one more thing before this video was done. One huge thing I've seen also with Trump in office is that the good are going to continue to do good and the evil are going to continue to do evil. So this has been become very prevalent and there's a very prevalent divide. So bring it to the Lord and ensure that you're doing the right thing this year. God bless.